Hi sir, myself Kishai Kumar. I am pursuing third in Savita Engineering College. I am from ECE department. Now the topic is about 3D integrated circuit. Firstly, what is integrated circuit? Integrated circuit is nothing but it is a set of electronic circuit on a small flat surface of semiconductor made of silicon is known as integrated circuit. Introduction to 3D integrated circuit. Now let's get into the topic. In electronics, a three-dimensional integrated circuit is a chip in which two or more layers of active electronic components are integrated both vertically and horizontally into a, into a single circuit. In contrast, a 3D IC is a single chip in which all components on the layer communicate using on a chip signaling whether vertically or horizontally. Idea for 3D IC the large growth of computer and information technologies industry is depending on VLSI circuits with increasing functionality and performance at minimum cost and power dissipation and 2D ICs generate various gate delays and interconnection delay. Generally, VLSI circuits are used for, for in increase the speed. Even though they consume more power consumption, they produce high speed. So, to reduce their delays and total power consumption, 3D IC technology is introduced. Intel introduced 80 core chip in 2007, which run on the frequency of 1.4 gigahertz. This is the IC architecture of a 3D integrated circuit. These are the pins used in 3D integrated circuits. This is purely made up of silicon. 3D IC is, is a concept that can significantly improve interconnect performance, increase transition packing density, reduce chip area, power dissipation. In 3D design structure, the entire chip silicon is divided by number of layers of oxide and metal to form transistor. Manufacturing technologies of 3D ICs are followed by there are four ways to build 3D ICs. First step is monolithic wafer on wafer, die to die on wafer, die on die. Now let us discuss about monolithic. Monolithic. The first step of manufacturing IC circuit. Electronic components and their connections are built in the layer on a single semiconductor wafer which is then diced into 3D ICs. There is only one substrate, hence no need of aligning, thinning, bonding or through silicon wires. See, from the diagram, we can notice P-type, N-type. This is a P-type semiconductor. We will have N substrate. Above that, we have drain terminal, source terminal. In between the drain and source, we have gate terminal. Second method is wafer on wafer. Electronic components are built on two or more semiconductor wafers, which are then aligned, bonded, and diced into 3D ICs. Third method is die on wafer. Electronic components are built on two semiconductor wafers. One wafer is dyed, aligned, and bonded onto die sites of the second wafer. This is the way the uh, third method of manufacturing die on wafer. We can notice in the diagram. Die on die. Fourth st step of manufacturing is die on die. Electronic components are built on multiple dies which are then aligned and bonded. One advantage of die on die is that each component die can be tested first so that one bad die does not ruin an entire stack. These are the four steps of manufacturing a 3D integrated circuit. Present scenario in 3D IC industry. Many companies like MIT, IBM are doing research on 3D IC technologies and they are going to introduce cheaper chips for certain applications like memory used to use in digital cameras, cell phones, and held gaming devices, etc. The original cost will be 10 times lesser than the current ones. 
in in coming future we are going to deal with a digital world so that more number of integrated circuits are going to be introduced conclusion 3d ic will be the first of new of a new generation of bins inexpensive chips have less delay and inter interconnection loses that will replace the conventional storage and recording media with this i conclude my presentation thank you sir